This is Gus's evaluation walk pre-training. Notice the tension on the leash. Notice how his nose is down to the ground and he's not visually checking in with me. He's not prepared to turn when I turn. He's not aware that I exist at the other end of the leash. I've slowed this clip down so that you can see how he is focused on where his nose is taking him. There is a lot of tension on the leash and he's not visually checking in with me. This is after our first morning session. This is the follow me or let's go command. All I'm asking is no tension on the leash and check in with me visually occasionally. This is an afternoon session. Notice how slack the leash is. It's forming the letter U or the letter J and that's what we're looking for. Notice how Gus is looking and checking in and making sure where I'm at. With the follow me or let's go command, position of the dog in relation to my body does not matter. He can be in front, behind, or either side of me. Recall or come command. Moving to a new spot to repeat the exercise. I started Gus by introducing him to the place board as an object before beginning the place command later. Note, none of his feet are on the board. I'm using verbal marker training. Note, there are now two feet on the board. Three feet on the board. Four feet on the board. The place command is a boundary training command. It does not matter whether the dog sits or lays down on the board. Position does not matter, just so all four feet are on the board. Okay, great. Great. Good boy. Free is the release command. Go be a dog.